All right, world champion, NCAA champion. Is there anything you haven't won? <laughs> less gutches, less. Olympics. Ol Olympics. Olympics. Okay, seventh in the Olympics in, in uh, 96 in Atlanta. Yeah. Also your senior year here at Oregon State. Less. First off, congratulations. Uh, I want to talk about the ceremony today. You have a banner in Gill Coliseum raised to the rafters. What does that feel like when you see that up there? When you get in there, and, and you know, how do you how do you react to that? And you know, about your career here, and how does that make you feel? Well, obviously, it it feels great. Uh, you know, the the Hall of Fame induction, and and uh, you know, the, this thing tonight where they raise the banner, unbelievable feeling. Um, you know, I, I've told people before. Uh, you know, you win it in, in terms of wrestling. You know, you win a match, and and you're thinking about the next one. You, you, you have a season, even if it ends well and you're a national champion, you're thinking about the next season. In other words, success is very fleeting in wrestling. You know, it's, it's kind of short term. Uh, but you know, with the Hall of Fame and, and being recognized tonight, uh, the, the, the thing that's such an honor about that is they take a look at your, your entire body of work, everything you've ever done, um, all of your matches, all of your tournaments, and in the case of the Hall of Fame, they, they deem it worthy of you being inducted into, you know, uh, the Hall of Fame with, uh, with all the other great wrestlers that have came before you. And, you know, as you walk through there and look at each case, it's just unbelievable to think that somebody else thinks that you belong in there with them. Uh, in terms of tonight, I, I just keep flashing back to the first day I, I rolled onto or the Oregon State campus, and, and I never imagined anything like this. And... Uh, it's it's humbling, and uh, you know, right now I I lack the words to even describe the feeling of looking up there and and seeing a ban banner hanging in the rafters. To be honest. Okay, so you are also on the mural in, in, outside the wrestling room. Hey, you're an icon here in, in the state of Oregon for wrestling. You know, how do you, when someone says something like to you like that, you know, how do you react? Being an icon is is amazing. You know, like an Olympian, a world champion. You know, what's your reaction to that? How do you feel about that? <laughs> I don't know if I have a reaction to that. I mean, you know, I did just the same thing that everybody else does. You know, I, I uh, get up every, well, uh, when I was competing, you know, you get up every morning and, you, you know, you put your running shoes on and go get your morning workout in and you work out in the afternoon and, and you hope that, uh, you know, just by improving a little bit every day that, uh, you know, you can achieve something great. And, uh, you know, I, I, I guess uh, on a personal level, it's, it, it's very satisfying, but maybe on a bigger level, I... I hope that uh, you know the ki the Oregon State kids, uh, you know the athletes here, uh, the high school kids who were here, and you know even the little peewee wrestlers. I hope that that they saw the national champions that walked out there today. I think we have uh, I don't know how many we have, 12. but it's 12, 12 national champions. Yeah. I believe somebody had to check me on this, but I think every one of them is from the state of Oregon. You know, so I hope that those kids are looking at that. They're looking at, at me and the things that I was able to do. You know, coming from Oregon, which is not. I mean, we're a good wrestling state, but, uh, you know, we're pretty far away from, you know, the traditional powers. But for kids to see that and say, hey, if they can do it, why can't I? And, and that's the truth. You know, if you're willing to, to, to sacrifice and put in the work and do what it takes, uh, any one of those kids there today that uh, saw that ceremony, could it, that could be them in 15, 20 years. So uh, I, I hope it had that effect as well today rather than just being for me. How do you feel about the direction of the uh, the Beavers program now with Jim Zaleski at the helm? And, and how do you feel? Do you feel it's in good hands? I do, yeah. In fact, uh, you know, if, if I had to hand pick a guy to come in here and, and, and do it, you know, when uh, the, the prior coaching staff was on its way out, uh, you know, Jim Zaleski would be at the top of the list. And uh, I've been up to several practices. I've had a chance to to watch how he runs a practice, and, and I'm impressed. I'm, I'm uh, very hopeful the way I, I see the kids reacting to, you know, uh, you know, Jim and the coaching staff coming in and, and uh, you know, implementing their style of wrestling. And, and I, I think, you know, good things are, are around the corner, up ahead. And I know they're not happy with the, uh, the result tonight, but uh, I think there were some bright spots. And, and uh, I think there's there's definitely cause for uh, for optimism in the state of Oregon and the direction this program's headed. I just uh, I wish there were still two programs in the state. Well, you know I wish I wish Oregon still had a team. We have more programs in the state, but uh, Division One. Yeah, we don't want to lose any of them. I believe Portland State's Division One. They well. dropped. They dropped. They dropped last oh, year. Last year. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Uh, 
there's one thing you want people to know about what Les Gutches does now, the, the, you know, how, how involved are you with wrestling and, and what do you do with your life now? Uh, well, first and foremost right now I'm raising two young children. I've got a two-year-old and a, and a five-year-old and, uh, you know, doing my best at that and trying to be a good husband. Uh, I work in finance for, for a local bank and uh, I continue to stay involved in wrestling. I do uh, the occasional camp and clinic. Um, in fact, I'm headed out to Hawaii to do one here in a few days. So. Hawaii to do a camp or a clinic? Yeah, it's rough. It's start, <laughs> starting to rain here. It's time to get out. Uh, so I, I still stay involved. I probably do 15, 20 days of uh, camp or clinic a year and uh, you know, try to help wherever I can and, and uh, some of the local kids, some of the local high schools. So I, I still stay involved. I love the sport of wrestling and uh, I want to see it continue to improve here in the state. Can you still strap it up and roll, man? Can you still can you still wrestle these college guys? You think? Want to see? <laughs> no, I don't. But hey, uh, thank you for the time. Yeah. And uh, I think I just I, f I thought this was a fitting backdrop. Research Stadium and uh, Les Gutches. You're synonymous with the uh, Oregon, the state of Oregon, and wrestling. And uh, thanks for the time, Les. Thanks.